Good afternoon and welcome to New York Metro Weather's special severe weather update. Uh, today is August 21st, 2011, and there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot going on um, at the moment. The first thing to cover as we're looking at a radar, a visible satellite, the 500 millibar heights, and the water vapor. The water vapor invisible on the left, the main radar and observations on your right. Um, the main thing that we want to hit right now, a severe thunderstorm watch, is in effect for the entire area through 9 o'clock p.m. Um, there were severe thunderstorm warnings in effect over northeast New Jersey, southwest Connecticut, southeast New York. Those have been allowed to expire, at least the ones in our forecast area. Um, and the Storm Prediction Center has placed our area in a slight risk for severe thunderstorms through through tonight with this slight risk um, including enhanced areas of potential for widespread significant wind damage, hail, and isolated tornadoes. Um, right off the bat when you take a look at this setup, there's a lot of complicated stuff going on. We can take a look at the radar loop um, from over the past hour or two and you can see what's going on here. The storms have formed and they continue to move to the north and east. This is convection that's forming ahead of the main short wave. Um, this stuff is moving you know, north, uh, south to north and it's in response to the increasing low-level jet but really the main shore wave is still back over the mid-atlantic and you take a look at the water vapor satellite and we'll actually what we could do is actually pull that up right now we'll pull up a wa enhanced water vapor satellite and it's important to note here that the main shore wave is still back over the mid-atlantic this feature is ex expected to eject north and east and provide the forcing for enhanced thunderstorm development over the area. This feature will become increasingly important throughout the day. So we're still a few hours away really from the um, from the real impact of uh, the, the big severe thunderstorms that we were expecting. And you can see there's convection, there's convection, and then back down here to the west is where your shortwave is beginning to eject um, to the north and east. Uh, the visible satellite shows that there's a lot going on right now. Here's the earlier convection which was uh, impacting the area and then back to the west important to note areas of clearing the winds are still south southwest this event is not over until we pass the front and you can see the winds are not shifting yet this is still there's a lot of time to go here um, temperatures beginning to respond 82 in Philly 82 uh, at Teterboro so um, things are beginning to become increasingly unstable and this area of sunshine is really going to help to make things more and more unstable um, so just if you got a thunderstorm already, you're not out of the woods. The sun is out and the atmosphere is destabilizing once again. Here's a severe thunderstorm watch from the Storm Prediction Center. It was issued about an hour or less than an hour ago. And you can see the probability and the likelihood. Tornadoes is low, strong tornadoes very low, but severe wind is high. They're expecting a damaging wind event to unfold across the forecast area over the next, um, the next several hours. We can also take a look now at the day one convective outlook, which we spoke about earlier. Here's a slight risk. The tornado risk is a little higher than usual, 5%, so a chance of an isolated tornado. And here's the enhanced damaging wind risk, 30%, so not a moderate risk. The 15% triggers a slight, but the enhanced area where the Storm Prediction Center is expecting more organized concentration of damaging wind, and now even hail. They're expecting large hail and damaging winds within this 30% area, which includes eastern PA, New Jersey, New York City, western Long Island, and up into southeastern New York. So as is the case with these setups all the time, it's important to take a look at um, what the potential you know, downfalls could be of the setup. We'll take a look real quick at this warning that just popped up. This is a warning for Westchester, Fairfield, Rockland, and Putnam until 2.30. Um, that actually just went up this moment. Um, one of the things that could be a little bit of an issue is the storms that just moved through were in association with a weak shortwave and they've shifted the winds a bit. You can see the southeast winds at Islip, the southeast winds down at the Jersey Shore. Um, southeast winds, although the water is warmer this time of year, can often harbor a marine air intrusion. So we have to think maybe there could be a sea breeze, maybe the air near the coast could be more stable, and maybe the instability might not develop as quickly um, and as robustly as it would have otherwise. And that could cause storms to form over Pennsylvania. I mean, this is a really unstable air mass over Pennsylvania, especially in southeastern PA. And this complex could move to the east and weaken across the areas where there has already been convection and these winds have turned to the south and east. So. Bottom line, 
We're expecting the potential for widespread damaging winds, but there's still a lot of concerns. There are a lot of questions as to whether this is going to be a monster squall line infecting into our area. There's still a lot of questions to be answered, and with these type of severe weather events, it really is about watching it um, play out as it occurs. Um, there's a lot still left to, to, to see. Um, so as the event continues to unfold, we will keep an eye on it, we will keep you guys updated. But be alert for the potential for damaging winds that could become widespread. Um, isolated tornadoes, large hail with any storms that move through. Um, stay with us on Facebook, stay with us on Twitter. We post the warnings right away as soon as we get them. Here's a new one that was just issued, by the way, right here. Westchester um, into uh, Putnam and then into southwest Connecticut. This warning should expire shortly over northeast New Jersey. And other than that, it looks clear back to the west where we could destabilize further throughout the afternoon, as we mentioned. Um, so stay with us, as we mentioned. Send us your reports, your pictures, your concerns, your thoughts, whatever it may be. Um, your inter interaction with us is critical uh, right now. Um, so we'll have updates. Stay with us, and we'll hear from you guys soon.